Hey fellow artists, Molly from Joyful Watercolors and Molly's Fine Art. Yay! I finished the wheelbarrow from my plain air painting that I did outside in my front yard. And I have so many tips on there, how to use gouache and also how to get the boots right. Enjoy the video. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little wet on wet here and get the dirt, get the background, get some green in the background, and then I'll go over and do the uh, wheelbarrows and do a little bit like this. Ah, I need two hands. There we go. That's better. And I can just kind of blot it up. I do want to save a little light edge. I don't know if you can see the the wheelbarrow is right there and the sun is hitting it. It's so nice how the sun is hitting it. Um, so I'm going to save that edge right there. And I'm going to just kind of do, I'll just go around it with the green. And I'm planning on putting in some, you know, flowers, just kind of whatever. And, but I do want the green in the background. And I may do a little dark. I'll we'll just plop in some dark greens there. Because the, um, the focus is going to be the wheelbarrow. And the flowers <clears throat> in the wheelbarrow. And also the boots. I don't know. I like the boots. I don't know if I'm going to leave them. We'll see what happens. So I'm just going to blot my brush now. I forgot my sponge. I usually have a sponge. I'm going to grab a little brown. I have this like burnt umber and kind of Indian yellow. Actually, I think it's a, uh, uh, just for a little brown here. And I actually kind of like that for maybe a little undercoating of the wood. So I'm just going to throw that on undercoating for the the iron and um, but i won't get the boots with it i'm not too worried even if the boots do get a little color on them because i'm gonna do um i'm probably gonna do the boots a different you know a dark color anyway so here we go and i get a little bit in here just because there is a dirt in there so I'll just kind of get that layer of that in there even though it's all gonna be flowers but I do want to get a little layer of brown for the dirt in there find another bit of my brown let's see there we go and Oh, that's nice. It's a little greenish brown, which is okay. Alright, and let's just put in a lot of If you know me, you know I love my burnt sienna. And gonna get while it's wet, I'm gonna do kind of a little dry not really dry brushing because it's wet, but just a quick left undertone one of my values really I don't want to keep calling it undertone it's a value and I'm gonna get a little bit more burnt sienna and that this yellow and I'm gonna kind of just the wood And it's nice because I have a nice drawing underneath that you can, I can really follow my line uh, because I have a nice drawing. Anyway, it is such a beautiful day out here. I'm in the burbs of Chicago and holy crap, it was so hot for, you know, a week and now it's just gorgeous. So.
It's actually black. What makes a really nice brown is burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. Make a really pretty brown or gray. So I'm doing that. And I'm gonna do some of the, uh, the steel here now that it's absorbed and it's not too, too, still wet. The paper is still pretty wet, but not too, too wet. I probably should be using a smaller brush, but that's okay. And then have some cool shadows. Yeah. Some cow shadows there. And then we have, whoops, I think I'm getting my lines mixed up. Let's just make that one go there. And then this and really dark in the back. So I can go pretty dark there. Then it kind of. There we go. Kind of lost my lines, but I think I found them. We've lost, but now I'm found again. All right, that looks okay. I'm going to just kind of leave that. There we go. Oops. Oof. Just going to do a little fun, happy little shrubs in the background. Nothing too crazy. There we go. And I will got a little, all this is going to be full with, I'm going to add some flowers everything that's going to be in the wheelbarrow but i just kind of wanted to get when maybe i will put a little yeah. let's see well that just is gonna i'm gonna go with mixing up a little bit of orange Maybe I can do a drop in there. Hey, what's up? For a little bit of flowers in the background. Hey. And that's probably good right there. And maybe some how to all Okay. Probably good. Having a loose, fun day. Loose, fun day with painting. And then I will add a little bit more over there when I'm ready. Can you can kind of see the wheelbarrow? You should be. Might be able to hear the neighbors, uh, Doing a little weed whacking. Such a nice day. Everybody's out. Okay. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. So, now, 
see if this is dried. Oh, that's dried nicely. So I'm going to get actually going to get a smaller brush. Make. Oops. OK, so now I'm going to get a smaller brush. <laughs> And I'm going to do a little dry brushing. So this and a little blue, ultramarine blue, and uh, burnt sienna makes such a great brown. And if you add a lot of water to it, it makes a really nice gray. And I'll just do like a little kind of a test swatch here. There we go. I'm blot my brush a little bit. There we go. What I'm going to do now is, okay, what I'm going to do now is just do a little dry brushing. Okay. And I'm going to actually add a little because I don't want it to get too dark. I'm going to add a little scent, believe it or not. And I'm going to add it right here. A lot of this is going to be covered up by the flowers when I get in there and do the flowers. So. Okay. Good. No, that's it. Come there we go. I don't know. There's two guys. There we go. Sorry for the bad connection. I don't know if anybody's still there. Sorry for the bad connection. I don't know if anybody's still there. But um, I'm still here. And I'm going to making a happy wheelbarrow. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, go on. It's the one. Similar to that, right? Tony, you can see getting a little darker over here. Yeah. And, you know, this is me just kind of practicing for a plein air, uh, I guess contest is what it is, coming up next month. Doing my blue burnt sienna. Okay. I'm just having that there ready to go. I'm gonna do um the yellow color, yellow ochre. It's a little greenish, which is good. So because everything's very green out here, so it's picking up a little bit of the green. Add a little bit brown. Okay. This is pretty wet. Might want to move on to the next one. I think this one is just as wet, actually. Oops. There we go. I'm so at the green. Don't have pee. This 
so I would kind of make a nice little yellow do a brighter yellow there try to get like a little rustic feel we'll just do a straight yellow right here on the edge out out Go the same down here. Pretty good. Right, the mix. Highlight of the wheel. And on the wood there. Here we go. It's one bit more of a highlight. Get a little more pink on there. Pink is nice, warms it up. So when, um, so it creates uh, the kind of a feel that the sun is hitting it when you add a little warm to your color. We were just talking about warm and cool shadows my in-person class for my students. That was very fun. Yep. All right. Now I think while this is wet, I'm gonna just do a little dark brown there. Let it blend in a little bit. I've got some really dark values in here from the wood. So I'm gonna grab that. There we go. Yeah, the sun is constantly changing. Imagine that. Um, I'm you know, it's always nicer to paint early in the morning or later on in the afternoon. Um, because you get better lighting, better shadows. So there's the, uh, there's the wheelbarrow that I'm doing. And here's, I'm going to be putting some plants in here, some colors. There's not too many plants in the wheelbarrow, but my plan is to add them. So just did this background, kind of letting it dry a little bit. And I'm just kind of getting my lines here so I don't lose, don't lose my lines. But I have my sketch in there pretty dark with a graphite, so I, or not graphite, yeah, with graphite, so I can see. Um, I do have some boots here, and I was just like, oh, I don't know if I should do the boots. Um, I'm still on the fence. I think I'll do them, but I'm still kind of on the fence. So I think what I'll do is uh, just a circle here. Okay. Start getting in. Okay, so now, um, yeah, I got the boots. I don't know what I should do with the boots, but I'm kind of liking where it's at. I think I'll get a little bit more paint for the wheel. The wheel is starting to come around, so I'm going to get a little more paint color on the wheel. And like I said, I have my sketch on there, which is great. It's always great to take the time to do a nice sketch, especially when you're doing like plain air, because um, that way you really understand your angles and you can fix your composition, switch things around. And then when you go and paint, you're pretty much ready to go. You've kind of figured a lot of things out. So, uh, let me see. Let's see, there's another little spoke right here. This one actually is kind of more, so what I like to do is, just like the old guys do, the masters, you do your angle there. And then I got my angle here. 
So I'm way off. I got that and that. So I'm going to fix that. That's what make I was looking kind of funky. There. It's about like that. They might have stayed with. So I'm going to blot that a little bit. So it's not so dark. Plus the light is hitting it. I then this is the bottoms. And I can probably uh, add a little background there, green, so that's not a problem. Okay, so now what I think I'm doing is uh, going to keep going and just adding in the, adding in my lines and my edges and just kind of making it Getting my highlights, my lowlights, all that kind of fun stuff. Cool mark right there. Uh, do a little dry brushing again. The dry brushing is great for this kind of technique. And then if you just do you do too much or you don't like it, you just add a little water. Let's just move it around. I mean, this is kind of easy and fun because it's, um, it's, uh, old. It's supposed to look old and rustic, so I'm not really too worried, right? It's not like you can really make a mistake on something like this. It doesn't have to look exactly like it. it doesn't have to look exactly like those colors. All right, going inside now, wrapped it up outside, going to do some of the details and kind of, you know, straighten out the wheel there. The wheel is pretty crooked, so going to do lots of, you know, definitely more flowers, as you can see in the final painting in the upper right hand corner there. I really had fun with using gouache and a sword liner brush so sword like a sword right like um and because it, it's real pointy i think that's why it's called a sword li sword liner so anyway i used that with gouache you'll see that down the road here now i'm i'm just kind of getting the wheelbarrow um wheelbarrow sorry I keep saying wheelbarrow wheelbarrow um defined and getting the colors in there and the rest. So I will let you listen to some pretty music and I'll come back in when I'm playing around having fun with the flowers and mixing in some gouache.
Okay, so I'm getting uh, some, some more uh, leaves in there, just some green leaves in there before I get some more flowers. So I'm going light with the green and my puddle is really watery. I'm doing some splashing because I do want it loose. I'm not really getting the shape of the leaves, like drawing them in or painting them in. I'm just kind of doing, you know, the, the suggestion and and uh, I don't want a lot of detail. So I'm just kind of making a mess, adding a lot of water there and having fun. Honestly, just kind of messing around, trying not to make too much of a green blob there. So I'm letting that dry and getting into the boots. Fun part. Yay. Oh, it's all fun. So I'm going really light. I have masking fluid. I kind of put it in like a little star shape, you know, trying to make some cute little rain boots or garden boots, right? Um, so I just did a little wet on wet there, really wet the paper, got a pretty oh, light blue, knowing I'm going to go into it with the dark blue. And just keeping it loose there, you know, when I do the, the splash effect, it, it really helps me to keep, to stay loose, not to get tight. I tried, I thought it would be fun to kind of have like a little puddle there, like the boots are in a puddle or there's water dripping down. I don't know if it really came across in the final painting, but I didn't, it, it was already so busy. I didn't bother to do any more, any more of the puddle that is. So now I am getting the, all that dried and uh, I'm getting the detail in using my size two brush, kind of a long skinny round. I like it because it's kind of firm and I can get a nice point, get some edging like this. So I'm going in with a darker blue and so uh, just creating the outline of the boots and again I did an, I, I did a sketch I did a good sketch I think I even sketched after I did the um, layers there with the blue I took off the masking fluid when it was dry and then I did a sketch with my pencil because I kind of lost where it was so um, I really wanted to make sure these boots weren't off you know, didn't look funny, like they weren't too short or they weren't too tall. So I did the sketch um, just to make sure that the proportions were right. And, you know, from the wheelbarrow, the boots, I didn't want the boots too small. I didn't want them too tall. Like, I, you know, I didn't want them too long, whatever. I just want to make sure they were proportionate. Because um, my first sketch, they were way too, too small, too short. So anyway... Now just getting, and this is pretty much all I do. I just get the outline here and uh, that's it for the boots. Maybe a little more blue, I think I did. And there we go with the boots. If you like this video so far, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me make more videos for you. Thank you. Okay, the sword brush. This was really fun. I haven't used this one in a while. What I did was mix gouache, white gouache with uh, yellow. So I this really light yellow color. And I just went, as you can see, loose, kind of fun, wild. I was just thinking wildflowers. And the actual barrel had um, just weeds in it and some wildflowers. So it wasn't too hard to recreate that with this brush. I actually was looking more to, to, you know, lighten it up a bit. It got pretty green there with the green background, the green in the barrel. So I was kind of wanting to lighten it up a little bit. And I know the gouache always dries darker anyways. So I'm kind of loading it up and putting it on pretty heavy. And just seeing as it dries what happens. Okay, a little close-up shot here. What I'm doing now is after the gouache dried a little bit, you can see it really didn't, it didn't, it, it dried a lot darker. So I'm going to go over it with some more. And I that is actually why I think I used ink towards the end. Um, but anyway, I'm just using some thick watercolor, hardly any water on it, and blotting, just, just touching 
to make those little flowers, the little petals. Trying to break up the green with some blue, some dark blues. Just kind of making some little little petals there and then just do a dot of of another color. I was doing orange and yellow in the middle just to break it up a little bit. Fun, fun, fun. Now adding some red. This is a pretty thick consistency because I really want the red to pop. There's so much green on there that what's a complementary of green is red, right? So had to get some red in there and it, I think it really kind of completes it. The red and the green complements each other. So the, the green brings out the red, the red brings out the green. Adding some more blue, just a darker blue, a more chroma, the higher pigment there. And now I am adjusting the shadow. The shadow was really bothering me. It was off because I think some of the other shadows aren't in the, where it really should be. So, and there really isn't a suggestion of like a, the ground, like where the ground starts and ends. I also kind of touch up the flower shadows as well. That is coming up right here. In a second, I will be doing kind of more of the dirt and the flower shadows. And there's so much green already that I didn't want to do any more grass like around the wheelbarrow. I think I did just a touch of green. So this is mostly like a a brown green even with like a little burnt sienna again trying to get a little red in there and not so much green but um had to do a little green if i wanted to kind of do a little grass effect so that's really what i was doing down here for the ground just wanted to make some kind of structure that it's on on the ground or around the grass no, I wasn't really too worried about it. And here is the final finished painting. Thank you for watching, fellow artists. If you would like some free downloadable workbooks and free tutorials, go to my website, mollysfineart.com. There's so much there for you to learn as a beginner or intermediate. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.